If you're looking for the latest in hotel, restaurant, and retail technology, stay tuned right here to Tech Advisor Media. Hi, Rob Grimes for Tech Advisor Media. I'm sitting here with Rich Ventura, the Vice President of Product Marketing and Solutions Operations for NEC. Now, I've got to ask you, Solutions Operations, what does that mean? That's the first time I've heard that title. <laughs> so we have a team within our organization that we do installations, project manage the installations, also uh, we manage all of our vendor partners. So when we, do a, when we sell solutions, we sell more than just screens and projectors. We help a lot of our partners deliver the whole thing. So we can actually help them deliver the whole thing or even a part of it. So my operations team does project management, vendor testing, uh, product certification, uh, specifications, buying, everything kind of all tied together, and the quoting too. But if you're working with a, a large global client, uh -huh. my guess is, you know, knowing NEC is a very large global player, that you're probably doing more than just your products. Oh yeah, we are, and we're trying to do even more of that globally because a lot of our customers are looking to us to help them. And you know, our, our, we're a channel organization. We're a 100% channel organization, right. we love the channel. And our partners don't have all, don't always, always have the reach. So they you need. may be the integration specialist. Yeah, we we are behind the scenes. So we might be doing all the integration work for them to help right. our partner deliver for their customer wherever they are in the world. Okay. Now, that's behind the scenes. We're in front of the scenes. So we're in a very <laughs> colorful booth that a lot of motion is going on here. Yep. So why don't you, um, you know, give us an idea of what kind of technologies you're actually showing here? Oh, definitely. You know, on the video wall, this is actually a brand new 55-inch video wall product. We just started shipping these in the last month. And what's great about our products and a lot of the feature sets we're doing now is we're, you know, the big buzzword is 4K. Everyone's talking right. 4K, 4K. We can actually pass through a 4K signal on four screens and actually make that 110-inch 4K display. And so this system we're showing here is actually tied in with our relationship with DirecTV. Right. So we can help customers if they want TV as well as digital signage content all in one environment that can do that. But it really could be any uh, content provider yeah. that's, that's providing that feed. Now, I can see we've sort of got this framed here, so we have menu that's working around this as well, so the environment that something like this might be a sports bar or something. Fast casual. Line. Colleges and universities, if they're in a big student area, we're talking with uh, one company who does uh, all of the catering for colleges, and they're going, this would be perfect at some of our bigger universities. Sports arenas, anywhere that they have want to get a lot of information out there, right. tie in and really get that big wow factor, that's where video walls play. Now, just you're not just the hardware provider here, Correct. You have uh, content management. Are you providing content as well? So all the content, with the exception of the DirecTV, is actually done in-house by NEC. So we have a content creation house capability uh, called Creative Works, and so that's a division of NEC Display. Um, the computers that are running this are actually our internal computer option, our OPSs that fit right. in our displays, and we are actually one of the uh, content management software companies that we partner with is actually powering everything but the DirecTV signal. Okay. Now you have a lot of different things in this booth, and actually NEC has a couple booths here at the yes. NRA show. I see point of sale here. I see, uh, so let's see, we've got the display and the television. I think we have digital signage and menu boards staying throughout. So are these all NEC products? Are they partner products? Are they both? You know, how does that work? So in this booth, you have our displays, obviously. Then we have our partners with all the mounts and enclosures we work with, and our touch partners, and then our content partners. Mm -hmm. But we also, which is really great about NEC, is we have so many different technologies people right. don't realize. So yeah, we do have our POS partners, or POS division. They have one of their uh, devices in here, and they have a booth on the other side of the show. But we also have our analytics division. So help with facial recognition, uh, behavioral analysis. Is that the camera that's sitting on yes. top of the terminal over here? Yes. So we can do... Uh, to watch where people are looking at the screen? Or? Look where they're looking. It can also help with uh, age and gender recognition. So you can actually tie content on that. And also the behavior. If they grab a soda, say in a convenience store, right. they grab a soda, it can trigger an ad for that soda. Dynamic content. Very dynamic. That's, uh, that's there. What about integration with the wireless technologies and location-based systems and things like that? So some of the things that we've done already, uh, you know, NFC has always been the big buzzword everyone's talking about. And so well, one of the things we did with our product, we actually integrated an NFC chip into a lot of our displays. Now, it's not for location, it's not for ad, what it actually is for setup, so it speeds up setup. Mm -hmm. um, we're also working with uh, companies that are doing things with iBeacon, so right. doing, uh, you know, positional digital signage in arenas, uh, cafeterias, malls, you name it. Uh, we also have, with the camera-based system, right. doing heat patterns and knowing where people are going and can trigger content based on where they're going and get the right content to the right spot. That's probably more sales. of a retail thing. Retail? Where you see food service guys doing that? Uh, you see it a lot in uh, places like food courts. In food courts. Uh, cafeterias. 
will do that as well. So colleges and universities who have right. bigger, have multiple off offerings, they can actually watch the heat report and actually can target content, especially if maybe Chick-fil-A or another brand who's in that, in in that food, food court, court really wants to buy some advertising to help push business through their way, they can do that as well. So we work in so many different mediums and it's, a lot of it's partner-based. So we have a really rich ecosystem right. of partners, almost 100 different companies that we partner with to create this ecosystem. Right. Now, you know, the restaurant environment, you know, is an, is an obvious one. People understand that. I think the digital signage, digital menu boards. But a lot of times the on-site segment is, is overlooked. The business and industry, the stadiums and arenas. And I'm going to guess you guys do a lot of work in, within those segments. We do. And what we're seeing is a lot more arenas finally are making the jump. Um, you know, Major League Baseball made the big push this year. They deployed iBeacon in all the Major League Baseball stadiums. Now they got to find a way, okay, how do we continue that interaction with the consumer with kiosks? Or do we do it with digital menu boards? And how can we change and maybe even promote special uh, services that we're doing? Especially, as you know, if you go to a stadium, there's always at least one area that is for a charity. All the funds go to that charity. So why not market that more? Right. So people really know, hey, go over here, get a hot dog, a hamburger, and you're gonna help support this charity. So a lot of stadiums. I actually met with uh, an NHL uh, team right. this last week or so. They're looking at things like that. They need to find a way to increase that relationship and that uh, um, drive for more business with the consumers who are paying for tickets, who are gonna be there and wanna drink or eat food right. or buy new products. So, on the NE, in the NEC world, besides just doing the displays and helping to manage the content and do the integration, how does that work when you're trying to integrate with consumers' own technologies? So that's where we really focus a lot on our partners. So we have some great partnerships with a lot of uh, key software companies right. for digital signage who focus in that space. You look at companies like Stratacash, for example. Uh, you look at companies like Real Digital Media, NCR, uh, BrightSign. You know, we go down the list, Allure Global. All those is that partners. just a hardware play for you at that point? No, or is it a hardware integration? Or what, what is that play? Because a lot of the people you just mentioned are content providers or they're specialists in, in providing the channel you know, mm -hmm. for, for that, that type of messaging. We work so closely with them. It could just be a hardware play for us. It could also be more of a play of positioning YNEC because of the fact that we have those relationships and we can bring them to the table. Uh, you know, the restaurant industry has always been a very strong industry for us. I and mean, when we started uh, years ago with KFC, doing digital menu boards right. with Wireless Ronin, and then we grew into the McDonald's project, and then you go to Burger King and so on and so on and so forth, we've always increased our integration capabilities. We've always right. increased our relationships with the software partners, the designers, the consultants, right. and really become that go-to source to help them. And we may just be a screenplay, but our knowledge base and right. our understanding of it strengthens the NEC position for the customer. So, digital signage, digital menu boards, order confirmation boards and drive throughs all these things are pretty hot, especially because the cost per square inch of real estate has come down, technology has gone up. You know, what do you think is the point of differentiation for NEC against all of the various competitors that are out there? So something we just recently announced, which is, it still floors me, it's amazing we did this. Our uh, professional series, our P-series, which is predominant product that we put in the QSR digital menu board right. space, we actually just introduced America's best warranty, a six year standard warranty for 22 hour operation per day. So you've got a product, a standard warranty for six years. Right. The products come with three years. So now imagine if you're a quick serve restaurant or a small chain, you want six right. years. You know, we Absolutely. delivered that to our customers. Um, we've delivered Android based players now because customers want to look at Android software because it's lower price point. Uh, we have more integration capabilities with touch, protective glass. And you're putting the players into the, uh, into the displays themselves as well, right? Yep. So, so you we don't have, need the separate boxes anymore. No, you don't. We have what's called an OPS. It's an open pluggable slot right. in the top left corner of our displays. Uh, we're the only display company that can tell you that every single display we have, with the exception of our very entry level line, can take an OPS. And we can do Android, AMD, Intel based. Uh, we can do DVI, Daisy Chain boards. We can do so many things with it. Plus, on top of that, we've made it so much easier for the integrators. Having the NFC chip right. in our P-Series product and our video wall product now cuts 20% out of an integration installation process, right. lowers the cost for doing the project. If you, if you cut so much out like that, you're going to lose your operational solutions title because you won't need to have any of the integration <laughs> anymore, right? Oh, no, we're still going to need it. we are now made it easier for our integrators. Right. Uh, the other thing that we've done, which is just phenomenal with our products and everything like that, is we always look at what is the next big thing. What is really going to drive the industry? So NFC, we've looked at that and said, okay, we need to put an NFC chip in our display. It allows somebody to quickly program it. We can actually pull data off of it. We have Cat5 control on our display. Right. In fact, we actually have a mini uh, Cat5 hub on a lot of our displays, uh -huh. so I can now pass through one Cat5 cable. It cuts installation integration time right. down, 
and it gives them a quicker ROI, helps them establish uh, the return on objecti objective, and allows them to really deploy system-wide instead of just doing these long test units. Right. Now, you know, NEC, as we, we've talked about, everybody knows NEC, is a very large global company, it's a Japanese-based uh, yes. company. Um, I found a lot of times some of the best technologies don't exist here in the United <laughs> States, they come from elsewhere. And I'm going to guess that you visit the factory, you've seen what's going on somewhere behind the scenes. I go to Japan uh, about four to five times a year. Okay, so when you go over there, is there something that you see that's really cool that you think is going to find its way over here? You know, there's, the thing with NEC and actually most Japanese companies, less than 30% of what we make even leaves Japan. It's all domestic. Most of the stuff we make stays in the domestic Okay, space. so is there something on that, what was it, less than 30%, right? Yep. So on that 70% that's in yep. Japan, is there something out there you really wish would come out, or you think eventually will come out? More integration for analytics. And not, it's just above and beyond just this camera-based system saying, right. okay, you're between the age of 40 and 45. Right. It's trigger-based signage. It's building, having more triggers from a camera system and actually allowing you, not only to have that trigger, but then what do you do in the back end? So we have a lot of that. NEC actually has that stuff, and we're looking at bringing that to the They US. have a lot of the software back the software end that back is end. not, because people think of NEC as a hardware company. Exactly. So, so they have a lot of that back end software knowledge base that they should bring forward. Big data analytics. So you hear the term big data a lot. Sure. So we actually have those capabilities. And you know, part of my role in my job is help, how do we bring that to the market and make it so seamless and easy for our sales reps so they can deliver to our customers? Because I can tell you, our competitors, they don't have a lot of that stuff. Right. So that, that is huge. And you know, the other thing is just more and more ideas and integration around how do we make that display more seamless in an integration capability, have it so it's faster for installation, and just and continue our best in breed But, but it uh, sounds like in your position, your, your job really is to know all the solution set and be able to put those together and bring them forward. And if you have a customer here that needs something, you need to be able to know what's in that overall toolkit and bring it forward. We do, and you know, and I've got a great team underneath me that does a phenomenal job in product marketing. I've just got a phenomenal team. And their job is to drive our brand, and my job is where can I help them to help us drive and look at the bigger picture ideas, 4K, right. uh, more touch interactive, and then how do we take our partners and integrate that into such more, more of a seamless uh, overall offering for our customers? Because together with our partners, we're pretty strong. Right. And that's what our goal is, because then we can go to our reseller partners, our distribution partners, our software partners, and make them even stronger. That's the value add we deliver. They make more margins, the customer's happier, uh, the installations are done quicker, right. and overall we create an ecosystem that you just can't beat. So I, you know, we started the conversation talking about the long title you have for your business cards, but actually you really do tie it all together for the industry and bring those parts and pieces together into a total solution. And that's our hopes, and we've been doing this for nine years and we're going to continue to grow every year. Great, well listen, Richard, I want to thank you for taking the time no to sit down, and Rob Grimes for Tech Advisor Media, and Thank you for joining us here at NEC.